We've had these guys on. Well, They're it's awesome. the Good Liars. And uh, what's his name? Jason Selvig. Jason Selvig. And um, they they have done been doing this now for like six to eight years, I think. <laughs> they, uh, and um, stuff like this. He made it to the NRA annual uh, conference in Houston, Texas. And again, you know, the NRA is not what it was. It is in many respects a shell of what it was. But it was so successful that in many respects, you don't need it anymore. Yeah, it's legacies within every Republican voter. I it, mean, it, 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 they, are, they are the NRA it's angels now. in the outfield sort of thing. Yes. Um, they built it, and they have all come. And, uh, but here is uh, Jason Selvig at the uh, NRA meeting. It is amazing they allowed him to go on this long. And uh, so I have to say thank you. The chair recognizes the gentleman at microphone 1A. Thank you. Uh, my name is Jason Selvig, and I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. And I would like to say that I am sick and tired of the left-wing media, and frankly, people in this room today, spreading misinformation about Wayne LaPierre. Whenever there's a mass shooting, they all say that Wayne LaPierre isn't doing enough to stop these mass shootings and even implying that Wayne LaPierre has played a part in making it easier for these shooters to, to get guns, to get weapons. It, you, you heard it after Las Vegas. You heard it after Pulse nightclub in Orlando. You heard it after Columbine. You, you, you heard it after Parkland. You heard it after Virginia Tech. You heard it after Sandy Hook. You heard it after El Paso. You heard it after Buffalo. You kept hearing that Wayne LaPierre isn't doing enough. And frankly, that's not true. The NRA, under Wayne LaPierre's leadership, has provided thoughts and prayers to the victims and their families. And, and maybe these mass shootings would stop happening if, if we all thought a little bit more and we prayed a little bit more. So I'm, I'm asking everyone in this room to think, to pray. Give your thoughts and your prayers and your thoughts and your prayers and your prayers and your thoughts. And if we give enough of these thoughts and these prayers, these mass shootings will stop. So I, I want to thank you. Wayne LaPierre, for all your thoughts and all your prayers. Thank you. <laughs> sure. <Yep. laughs> they were clapping after that. It was amazing. He was just towing that line just enough. For, I love the like the look of confusion on LaPierre's face. I wonder how many shootings he could have listed off before they cut his mic. Right. Yeah, it, it would have been interesting for him to just go on and on for like five, ten minutes. But they did not cut off his mic. Uh, yes, that is prayer. Uh, power they were all just a little so confused. Right. They were like, we think this is not... We think that he's coming after us, but we can't exactly be sure. Right. It's too close to what we actually say. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the funny part of that kind of prank is that you walk up to the line, but you don't give them a reason to fully step in. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well done. All right, folks. Um, hope springs eternal in terms of like some uh, effective change. I, I, I don't want to be completely jaded uh, about this. The, the, but the least, and maybe the best, but the least we can expect from Democrats who do not have the ability to legislate, and there are some things that uh, Biden can do around the edges, maybe from executive order, but nothing, nothing, um, I, I think, like, you know, material at this point, unilaterally. But what they can do is make the American public understand that when you vote for a Republican because you want to cut your taxes, or when you vote for a Republican because you want to outlaw abortion, you are also voting for a Republican who is going to stand in the way of saying that everybody's not going to have access to AR-15s. 
And this goes for everything. Every time Nancy Pelosi or Joe Biden or Chuck Schumer or any of them talk about rational Republicans or good Republicans or Republicans who are going to have an epiphany or Republicans who are anti-Trumpers or Repub whatever qualifier they put in front of Republicans to imply that there's not something fundamentally wrong with the Republican Party that a Republican lawmaker is beholden to the exact same forces that Ted Cruz is. And so they will vote in unison, and they do, unless it's a freebie. This is going to continue, and they are just screwing up the politics. They are making it impossible to run in, let's say, a midterm election where there's not one single presidential candidate.